30 million workers missing from the U.S. workforce. Where are the missing workers? Let's talk it over this morning, and I'm going to open with a hiring specialist and a labor specialist. Trevor Houston is an analyst in the job market, and he's the host of the Who You Know Job Networking Show. Trevor, welcome to Iowa Radio. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, Trevor. Man, this is the question a lot of people are asking. So you're, you're rolling along. This economy's rolling along. We have a pandemic. And the economy, is, is, of course, goes into the dumper. Now we're back out of the po- pandemic. I'm just like everybody else. I go, okay, everybody just goes back to their jobs. Where are these missing workers, Trevor? Well, you said it. You exactly said it. So you said it was rolling along. I want you to imagine a fast-moving train, right? And everybody on that train, they, they've got a destination, right? They've got goals. That they're, they're trying to go someplace. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, that train comes to a halting stop, an emergency stop. And they tell you, you know, this is going to be this is going to be short. It's going to be two weeks. Two weeks turns to two months. Two months is now turning almost into two years. A lot of those people got off the train. Okay, they 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 they, they stopped waiting. They stopped. They started looking for other opportunities, reinventing themselves. There's just so many uh, facets to this. It's amazing to, to actually see what's happening. But these people didn't wait. So, Trevor, I mean, that was just a great way of illustrating this. Um, what happens again to make us whole? How do we recover from this? Or do people recover from this? Or do jobs? You know, I, I, I was thinking of you yesterday, Trevor, when I went to a local McDonald's where I just had to order at a kiosk. You know, I, 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 you know, our jobs just uh, companies, businesses, are they just reinventing themselves? How permanent is this change? They're going to have to reinvent themselves because, number one, the way hiring is done has got to change. Okay? Hiring the way it's been done, they've, re, they've uh, taken out the human element, okay? These job seekers are having to apply online, and when they do, their resume goes in the black hole, it goes into cyberspace, the ATS scans for keywords, and if your keywords aren't just right, you can forget about it. They make you jump through hoops, personality assessments. They make you do all these different things, and they're looking for what we call the purple squirrel, which means, like, if all of your – Skills don't match up just perfectly. You can forget about it. So they're making these job seekers jump through hoops, right? And then they want them to work for less pay, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and do twice the work, right? Yeah. And, and so, yeah, it's got to change. It has to. Yeah, cause I, and I can confirm that, Trevor, because we've talked about this topic. I've talked about this topic with my listeners in the past, and I'm going to be taking calls and texts again after you and I are done talking. And I do have listeners who say, hey, my daughter's actually been putting out resumes. She doesn't get a single call back. We don't understand yeah. labor shortage. What's going on? So there's a disconnect there somewhere, isn't there, Trevor? Huge disconnect. They're playing Scrabble with a computer, okay? Literally. They're applying online, and the, and the ATS is scanning for keywords. I, I got to see behind the scenes of one of these ATS systems, and it was crazy to watch that there were two words that took the, the resume from being like a 40% match on the job description. They changed two words, and it brought it up to a 95 so can you imagine that? Like, you, 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 you know, two words and you were failing, <laughs> right? Like, you're not even going to get a call. Right. So it's crazy to think how dehumanized this whole job search process is. They got to change the way they do it. They have to. And Trevor, I've got a text line, and uh, listeners can text in and react to our conversation. One of the questions goes back to an earlier comment. You said people have reinvented themselves, and a listener says, "How? Like, like, what are they doing now?" Well, let's let's think about this. So, um, many people were forced into early retirement. Okay, forced to. They got furloughed. They got let go. Maybe they're in their, uh, uh, you know, maybe they're fifty-five in their their early fifties. They had ten more years to retirement. But do you know how hard it is? 
for for someone in their in their early fifties to get a job? Do you know how hard that is? Ageism, right? They're forced. They got forced into early retirement, whether they had enough money or not, <laughs> right? Yeah. And so you have that going on. You have two household incomes that had to figure out how to do it on one on one household income, and so people are going back to that traditional single uh, uh, household. Right. So they figured out how to adapt and they're like, you know what? I'm saving money on child care. Right. I, I, we can make I'm it on the one income. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll make it work on one income. Yeah. Interesting. And Trevor. Got people that are leaving to just become entrepreneurs. There's right. a lot of people that are they're like, hey, if no one will hire me, I'll hire myself. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to be a business owner. Trevor Houston. He is an analyst in the job market, host of the Who You Know Job Networking Show. Trevor, great conversation this morning. Thanks for joining me. And I